Hi, in this video, you will learn how to show current location on a Google map on Android using Kotlin. So let's get started. First, we create our project. Here we select Google map activity, then click on next. Name of your application. Here I'm selecting language Kotlin and then click on finish. After creating project, we will get the Google API key. So for this, open your browser. Now open Google Developers Console. Now we create a project. Click here. Then click on New Project. Name of your project. And then click on Create. Here we select our created project. And then click on credentials then click on create credential api key here you can see our api key is created copy this api key and close then here click enable api and services and here we select maps the sdk for android then click on enable button here you can see our map SDK for Android is enabled. Go back to your Android project. Then inside Android manifest.xml file, we paste our API key. So here you can see metadata. And here inside the value, we paste our API key. Then open res.layout maps activity maps.xml. Here you can see inside this activity map.xml file a fragment is added where we will show our current location on map. Now open build.gradle app level and here we add the dependency for location. Then click on sync now. I'll provide this dependency on description box. Then click on maps activity.kt so here we create some variables used fuse location provider which is used to retrieve the device last known location the fuse location provider is one of the location apis in google play services it manages the underlying location technology and provides a simple api so that you can specify the requirements at high level like high accuracy then we create a method that will get the current location Inside this method, first we check user granted the permission of location or not. If user granted the permission, only then we are able to get the current location of the user. First we check user granted the permission or not here.
so here we check our permission is granted or not if permission is not granted then we request for the permission now we create our overwrite method to request the permission so press control o so here we create override method on request permission result and inside this method we request for the permission if our permission is not granted Now go back to get current location user. Here we type fuse location provider client dot last location. So this last location provide us the most recently available location of the user. And then we use add on success listener. And this listener we use when our task complete successfully. we check location is null or not so where we put a condition location is not equals to null here because so there may be some cases where location may be null for example location is turn off in your device setting if location is not equals to null then we get the longitude and latitude Here we create a toast message that will display the longitude and latitude. and cut this function from here and paste here and this function notify when the map is ready to be used now move to on map ready function so here let length is representing a pair of latitude and longitude coordinates and store as a degrees. And this on map ready function is triggered when the map is ready to be used and provide a non null instance of Google map. So current location dot latitude from a current location dot longitude. Then we create marker. Here we pass let length dot then we set the title This is a piece of code that we use to add the marker on the map. Here it's showing error. Click on add permission access code location. Now open entrant manifest file. And here you can see the access codes location is added here. Now run the project. Here you can see it asks for the permission. So click on while using the app. 
can see the current location of a user. Thank you for watching my video. Please like and subscribe my channel and share your feedback in comment section. Thank you.